Hello, seventh graders. This is going to be a continuation of your FPD packet, the front page, and this is the bottom half. So some people were asking yesterday, do we need to do this all? No, we just did the first part. Now we're doing the second part. Please make sure that you have your calculator ready and this out. If you do not, please pause video. Go get that. All right, when we we're talking about fractions and decimals, yesterday we converted all fractions into decimals. And we think it's easier to compare numbers when they are written as decimals. We always want the same form or type of number to compare easily. So rather than working this all out into getting common denominators and this and that, I can simply take my calculator and do 5 divided by 8. So 5 divided by 8 gives us 0.625. And if you're a smarty patarty like Elijah was yesterday, he said, well, in my calculator it says I can just do decimals straight to fractions fractions to decimals. Convert in between. Hey, if you got that figured out, that's great. I'm not going to go through that right now, though, because we can all do 5 divided by 8. 0.625. Please write directly underneath. 6 divided by 10. 0.6. But I'm going to add those other two zeros because this has three spots. I want this to have three spots. That's going to come in handy later. Okay, so now we're comparing for greater than, less than, or equal to. The sixes are the same. Two is bigger than zero. So I'm coming back up to here, and here's what I want you to do. Come back up and put in the greater than sign in a box. Please, please follow these directions. I'm going to be really super picky on these directions because some of y'all haven't been following them. And it's a little annoying. And you're also making mistakes because of it. So please follow the directions. Number eight, 80 99ths. In your calculators, please. All right, you should have gotten 0 0.8080 for that. And this is already in that form. But because this has four spots, I'm going to add, or four total spots, I'm going to add the other three spots. So the eights are the same. The zeros are the same. Well, I'm a neat person. But this 8 is bigger than this 0. So I come back up here and put in my greater than sign. 80 99 is greater than 0.8 or 8 tenths. Oh, my gosh. Here we've got some negatives. You know what? Hmm, well, I didn't mean to do that. I am going to just remind myself with a number line. I've got zero, right? And everything to the right of zero is positive, and everything to the left is negative. These are greater than... I'm just going to say big, less, smaller, something like that, okay? I don't care how you r remind yourself. It's whatever works for you. So 7 divided by 8 in your calculators, please. Okay, as we talked about yesterday, you just bring down the negative sign. Don't put that in your calculators. Bring down the negative sign, and we've got 0.875 that shows in your calculator, right? Then for 4 fifths, 
you have point. Oh, and this is a negative. Oh, I do have to get rid of this. Hmm. Okay. Point. Oh, my point's not over here. Negative point eight zero. And I'm going to bring it out again because I've got three spots here. I'm going to bring it out three spots here. The eight is the same. The eight is the same. So now I've got a seven here, and I've got an eight here. So you're all thinking, oh, seven's bigger than zero, but wait. Whoa. What is closer to zero on the number line? This is way back there. This is closer to zero. So my smaller number in this case is greater. Woo! I don't know. I think I'm going to need to do another one of those again. We'll get there. We got it. Don't worry. All right. Let's move on to number 10. So here we can just recopy point 0.16. And then please put in what you get for four twenty fifths. Yep, you should have gotten point sixteen. So you come back up in here and write equals. If you were doing this on paper, I would want you to write the original problem. Okay, let me grab my highlighter. This is very important to me. All right. Grab, write the original problem. Then you would show your work underneath. And then you would come back and put in the sign in a box. All right. Glad we got that done. Just want to make sure. Well, switching between pens. All right, number 11. Why don't you guys try this one on your own? Ooh, be careful. Negative signs. So maybe you want to put up your chart. Zero, one, two, three. Negative one, negative two, negative three. What's closest to zero is biggest. Go for it. All right, so negative 11 fortieths in my calculator is negative 0.275 directly underneath y'all. And here I've got my decimal. I didn't have to do anything with that. Zero to zero. Now, here's the tricky part. You're going, oh, two is bigger than a zero. A uh, really? Which one is furthest away from zero? Yep, you got it. The two is furthest away, so the number closest to zero is the biggest. So this zero is bigger than two because they are, whoops, negative. Ooh, yikes. Hope you caught me on that. All right, try the next one on your own, please. Okay, so directly underneath. 0.875 in your calculators, and then you just need to recopy 0.88. Now, are they positive or negative? Gotta always check, they're positive. So eight and eight are the same. Seven is less than eight. So 0.88 is bigger. I think you have this. I don't know if you don't, I am available during office hours. Okay, now we're moving on to 
ordering them from least to greatest. Guys, always make sure that you're checking if it's least to greatest or greatest to least. So if you were doing this in your uh, on your line paper, you would need to copy these down. Then underneath, you are going to put in the decimals for each one. So we want the decimal for 9 11 This is the decimal for this already and the decimal for 9 tenths. Go ahead and do it, please. Okay, 9 11 is 0.81. Then we brought that down, 0.99. And 9 tenths is 0.9. I'm going to add a zero because all of these have two spots. And I'm going from least to greatest. So small to big. They're all positive. I don't need to worry about negative signs. So, of course, the smallest number is 8. Now, I'm going to put it back in its original form. 0.81 was 9 elevenths. Then what's next? Hmm, point, let me see, I've got a 9 and a 9. So that's the same. But then I've got a 0 and a 9. So this is smaller. So 0.90 is smaller, but its original form was nine tenths right Ooh, this can be a little confusing and then last but not least point and nine nine so those are in their original form i know that can be hard but that's why you need to do your work directly underneath all right oh my gosh now we've got some negatives all right, we got this. So first of all, go ahead and change your fractions to decimals. I don't need to change this one. It's negative 0.5. So go ahead and do that. See what you get. Okay, for four ninths, I don't know, but remember, we talked about this yesterday, about what did you observe when you knew that there was a nine on the bottom? And people said, oh my gosh, it's always repeating. So yes, this is point four repeating. You know what? To work these out, you might want to put 0.444 because, I don't know, we might have some bigger numbers to deal with. All right, 2 divided by 5. Huh, 0.4. I'm going to bring it out again just because, I don't know. All right. Oh, and these are all negative. And negative 0 0.500. Zero, zero. Now, you know what? Just as an advanced thing, I don't know if I would have brought these all, of a, all out because I would have gone negative 0.4 repeating. I would have gone negative 0.4 and I would have gone negative 0.5. And I would probably know that this goes on, 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 and this one's going to be zeros. I don't know. That's up to you. So, but let's put them in order. All right. So, least to greatest. Least to greatest. Again, zero, one, two, negative one, negative two. All right. So, I want my first this away number from zero to go first what's one which one's furthest away yep 
So negative 0.5, then which one? I've got a 4, 4, 4, and a 4, 0, 0. So what are you going to do? All right, yep. we got negative 4 ninths. And then last but least, negative 2 fifths. Woo! All right, so if you need to pause, get things down, whatever, go ahead and look back. If you were absent today, see me during office hours or email me later. I can meet with you later. Office hours doesn't need to be that strict. For your assignment, this is a copy for you, and all you need to do is open it up, edit it, and return it. And it is written down for you so that we could save you some time. So turn these into decimals here, and then please come back up here and put your answers in the box for me. All right, do not forget this page. All right, so you're going to move on. So you're going to have the numbers and decimals, then your final answer in a box. Oh, I hope you can be online with us. But if things happen and you can't, here you go.